Well, thanks everybody. Um, as a quick intro again, my name is Eduardo Silva. I'm the co-founder of this company called Calitia and, and the CEO. And this is a, a short uh, presentation about the technology that we have been working on that starts from uh, open source. But also we are in an observability conference, right? So, but observability is uh, it's like a trending topic. Everybody talks about observability, but a few ones are talking about how to make it simple because actually it's really hard, right? Uh, it's really good and easy to, really fun to observe and extract the insights from the data, right? But to get there, there's a journey. And this journey, uh, at least from the open source ecosystem, we started it uh, like many years ago when we created this project called uh, FluentD, which originally was a solution for monolithic systems to extract logs or move any type of data from point A to point B. And as I said earlier, this quickly evolved for a more cloud native solution that we call it a uh, fluent bit, where today we maintain both projects uh, with a huge community and they're very active. And these both projects are hosted by the CNCF and in a graduated state. That means that our production are in production already. And when you talk about observability, there are certain expectations, right? And in distributed systems, things get complex. Do observability or maybe just monitor one system. Monitoring is, is not the same as observability. Uh, there's a certain expectation and things could go wrong or fine. And actually, this is an expectation that everybody has, right? Your cluster is working full of dashboards and everything is working smoothly. And actually, it's not like that. Right? There are many struggles uh, in the middle, but this is where everybody wants to get, everybody wants to go. It's here. And when we talk about observability, if you think as a, if you forget your background in IT, you forget your background maybe as a developer or system administrator, your final goal as a user that is doing observability, your action is trying to observe try to gather insights to take better business decisions. That's your final goal. The final goal is not do anything else, right? Actually, I just knew a few people who really loves to manage observability tooling, right? Everybody just want to get the right insight right away. But when you get into observability, you start with this mindset. I need to get this information to take this kind of decisions. And then, you get into the next step. Okay, you decide mentally what kind of a stack platform or SaaS cloud service you're going to use. And there are many, right? And the primary goal of these platforms is allow you to correlate different type of data that come from different sources. You can correlate logs, you can correlate metrics and traces, and there are many flavors. There are many solutions. And everyone has pros and cons. But your final goal is observability, and you decide to take a, a bet on one of the solutions available in the market, which is fine. But then you get to the next step, which means, okay, if I'm going to use this platform, first I need to take care of how to send the data to this platform so I can do these correlations, and then I can observe this data. And then you realize that you are in a distributed system with containers, with data come from different places, and we have hundreds of developers that think differently about how things should be done. If you think about standardization at this level today, eh, we have some initiatives, initiatives like open telemetry. But if you look at what is running in production for metrics, for logs, for traces, and now we're jumping into six pillars, things get more complex. And when you define your strategy, how you're going to accomplish this, then you decide, okay, what will be my tooling for data management? And there's no single tool that will do everything for you because what you're going to end up is using different tools, take the best advantage and integrating all of them, right? And if you think again about this user journey, your goal was to observe data, to decide which platform you're going to use, and then you get into the strategy, and then you get into agents management, when you start having more people involved on this system. And it gets more complex, 
right? You just wanted to observe data, and you don't want to manage these kind of agents. And in our ecosystem that started to grow from the open source to the enterprise, we learned a lot about this. A natural step for open source is to build these enterprise layers where companies can rely on. And today we are announcing the launch of Calyptia Core. Calyptia Core is one product that allows you to unify and simplify all the observability aspects of your Kubernetes cluster. One of the advantage here is that this is not a drop-in replacement for your agents. It's not a drop-in replacement for your solution in the backend. Actually, it simplifies this problem on how to collect the data, how to aggregate it by using open source tools that you're really bet on it. Calypto Core comes with a full UI where you can manage all your data pipelines. You can configure it. And also, we have another option to bring your own business logic into the pipeline, which means if you're getting your security logs, and at some point you're saying, I want that all the data that comes that have any kind of credit card transaction numbers be redacted or just masked before it hits my destination, yeah, just go to the UI, perform three, four clicks, modify the data, test it, and then you're ready to go. Calypto Core for now is free to use. You just can get started. It deploys inside your own Kubernetes cluster. You just can use Helm, you can use kubectl, or actually also you can try it out our new Docker desktop extension. So if you have your own Docker desktop running in your laptop and you want to manage logging automatically, just go ahead, install the extension, and you will be ready to go. Uh, as Calypte, we are proud supporters of open source, and we will be in the conference, we will have our booth in, in KubeCon, and also we have our presentation as maintainers of Fluentbit, and we are hiring. So if you're interested, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thank you.